all right all right all right it's a beautiful morning and uh, on today's video we are going to talk about some of the documents we need to carry for our visa interview day you've gone through the process you have your visa letter and you have your visa date so which documents do you need to carry the reason I'm making this video is because at times we forget one or two documents and forgetting a document that will be asked on your visa interview date just means your visa will take long to be processed. So most of the time it goes under something called an administrative processing. That means it is still being processed or they're waiting for some essential document that you missed. Once they receive it, then they'll process your visa and deliver it. Please, the goal of visa interview day is to be organized have all your documents go do your interview a seat with flying colors and have your visa processed and be delivered to you as soon as possible again welcome back and if you're liking these uh, videos please 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 subscribe 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 and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend so Please ensure you watch the video till the end. You know these documents, you arrange them and have them for your visa interview. Again, thank you so much and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's get started. So immigrant visa interview, when you apply for it, you're making your intention clear to the USIS that you want to migrate to the United States on a long-term basis or on a permanent basis. The immigrant visa, can be obtained through so many ways that the way but the ways i'm aware of as an individual are three so first is a um, green card through marriage based visa so you get your better half who is an american or a green card holder in the united states of america and the petition for you green card marriage based visa and then two i call them the lucky sons and daughters of God who win the DV lottery. And then three, now the popular one known by NASA is the EB3, which is um, the work-based green card visa. So those are the three ways that I'm aware of that you can get a visa. So what happens on your interview day? What are the, some of the documents that you carry on your interview day? So this is going to particularly focus on uh, work-based visa for nurses. So you get a interview letter for your, from your embassy that is going to give you the date of your interview and the time of your interview. So you have to prepare for this day, not like the way you prepare for exam, but you have to prepare and make sure you go there and you tell them, I need my green card so that they can hand it over to you. This is what you've been working for. So it means you're ready, but you just have to go and confirm, this is me, I've come for my green card, right? Yes, you're supposed to have that mindset or that thought. What are some of the documents that I personally carried for my interview? When I went for my interview, I went individually. So I just carried, I went as an individual and I only carried my documents. So I'm going to tell you those documents. First, I carried my ID, the national ID, I had it. Secondly, I carried my birth certificate. Thirdly, I carried my passport or the travel document that is not expired. I carried my two by two passport photo and it should be less than six months. Like you need a recent photo and it's supposed to be two by two. And I believe I know I carried two of those. And then I carried my police clearance certificate. I had two because one had expired and one was recent. The reason why I carried the expired one, just in case they ask, I was just working with in case they asked me, then I handed them over to them. Then I carried the documents for the interview. One is the field DS-264. Remember when you fill the form, when you complete, it gives you the option to download. Please, please, please download that and keep it. They might not ask it, they might ask it. So just have it. Second, you get the DS-260 confirmation form. So the DS-260 confirmation form is always sent to your email that you register with, and you also have an option to download it. Please carry that one. 
three i carried my interview letter the invitation to the interview letter please carry a copy of that because you will be asked that to confirm that you that is the date of your schedule against what they have in their list for that day for interview i carried my nursing documentation in kenya so i carried my yellow card the mck yellow card i don't know if it is called a certificate or a yellow card so this is what i'm talking about this is the yellow card for nursing council i carried i carried my license um the current license and the old license so our license in kenya expires after every year so i carried the old one and then renewed a renewed one i carried my diploma certificate from kenya medical training center the original one and then i carried um, my transcript it's crazy i carried my transcript for my from my college and then when it comes to the nursing sector or nursing documentation or nursing documents for the united states i carried a proof that i passed NCLEX. i carried my visa screen and then i carried my eyelids um, results slip so those are the documents i carried plus when it comes to my job it's a it's a job based visa so i had two contracts one i carried the first contract that i had signed with my agency when you sign up for your agency and you guys come to terms there's a contract to initially sign and then secondly i carried the employment letter the employment letter was to specify the hospital i'm going to work to which unit or which specialty and it also specified how much i'm going to earn so those are the certificates that I carried. So these certificates or these papers vary from individual. That those people who are married with kids, that those people who are going to the to the interview as single parents. So these documents vary. I just had some of the few documents to these categories. And in case I miss anything, please, 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 please just be good enough to add to the comment section that Marion, you forgot this and it's very important. So before I go to that, please, please, please remember to subscribe and tell your friend to tell your friend about these videos. Okay? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. For those who are married, of course you have to carry your marriage certificate and you have to carry proof about your relationship like you have to have proof and for me the best proof to prove a relationship are photos photos talk a lot when you have a photo about how many function you've attended with your spouse about your wedding you have photos progressively from the day you guys started to date to now that you're married for those who have marriages less than two years and i'm very specific that is a marriage that you know you got to start this process you've been seeing your um, partner and now you're like we don't want to separate and we want to go together as a family you really have work to prove like you know this relationship is real and we've not entered a marriage because with the intention to commit um, immigration fraud or with an intention to just bring somebody to this land this land has opportunity and americans and american embassies know that people will do anything to step their foot in this land so if you have marriages less than two years please have proof and as i say personally i believe photos are the best proof you guys started dating in 2014 and 2016 but you never had the intention to get married at this particular point but due to this opportunity you decide like we want to get married and migrate together please carry photos don't carry selfies taken from one place carry photos you guys attending events you guys having um, family members around so probably you plus your mother-in-law plus your father-in-law plus your aunties and nieces and all good stuff carry those and then for those who have kids please photos as i said again of birthday parties 
photos of parents attending school functions with the kids and then of course the, their birth certificates and any other evidence that will prove that this is my baby for those who are coming as single parents you and your partner sired a child together but due to events or due to reason best known to you two guys you're not together but on the birth certificate of this child you have the name of the father trust me you will need a documentation to prove that the father is okay with you migrating with their daughter or their son if they are less than 18 years old to the united states the u.s embassy doesn't like you using them as they will say to kidnap somebody's child to their land so you have to have a documentation just a letter from the parent you can go through a lawyer to do that or you guys can just write a letter and it has to be official of course it has to have their name their id number and probably their phone number i've never written one i believe your lawyer will be in the best position to advise that all those who've gone through that experience will be in the best position to advise you on that so just make sure you have proper documentation for those people who have kids but their birth certificate indicate xxxx on the father's part i really think you are covered because it indicates like you know the father doesn't exist or whatever that means to you so those are some of the documentation that i'll advise for you to carry so thank you so much for watching this video till the end on the next video i'll be talking about some of my personal experience uh, on my interview day how it went and some of the advice or strategies that i'll tell someone to use to make sure they get their visa that their visa don't be denied or be under administrative processing again thank you thank you so much please 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 sanitize please mask and please let's keep covid out thank you bye bye